Hello, Performance Ninjas, and welcome to the Software Memory Prefetch Lab. All right, let's start off by saying what is explicit memory prefetching and why do we need it? Remember from the previous lab assignments that the memory accesses that are not resolved from caches are often very expensive. And one way how modern CPUs are trying to tackle this problem and hide the latency of a cache miss is that they essentially try to prefetch the data ahead of time. Most CPUs support hardware-based prefetching that is fully transparent to a software developer. Such a hardware prefetching unit observes the behavior of a running application, tries to identify the repetitive memory access patterns, and initiate prefetching requests. Such a hardware prefetching can automatically adapt to a dynamic behavior of a running application, such as varying datasets. And also, it does not require support from an optimizing compiler that does not need profiling data. Now you may wonder, if the modern hardware is so smart, then why do I have to care about it, right? Well, first of all, the hardware prefetching is trained for a limited set of cache miss patterns that are implemented in hardware. But there are situations when data accesses have no clear access patterns and are essentially random, right? So that the hardware doesn't know what to prefetch ahead of time. And in this short video, I will show you explicit software memory prefetching, which complements the prefetching that is done by the hardware. Now let's take a look at this example here. Uh, suppose we have this loop where on each iteration of the loop, we do some extensive computations and then we calculate next index, which essentially returns random value every time, right? And then we load the value from the array R based on that index, right? But this load will frequently miss in cache because the index is random, right? And remember, hardware prefetching is helpless here. It's because the, the memory access pattern is essentially random and hardware cannot pull the required data ahead of time. But there is one thing that we can improve here, right? So notice we have those extensive computations here, right? Uh, and if we can somehow overlap those extensive computations with taking the penalty of the cache miss at the same time, then we can essentially hide this latency of a cache miss, right? And this idea can be expressed using built-in prefetch, right? So if we insert this prefetch hint ahead of the actual load, then by the time we need this data, this data will be already pulled into the cache. Compiler will translate built-in prefetch into a special hardware instruction. And in this code, we request to prefetch the memory location of element J, which will issue a fake load into a memory subsystem and will pull in the, the value of R sub J in parallel while doing some extensive computations. And so this will effectively reduce the penalty of the cache miss or maybe even eliminate it at all, right? And it should be pretty obvious that for the prefetching hint to take effect, it must be inserted well ahead of time when the loaded value will be demanded by other calculations, right? But you shouldn't insert it too early either since it may pollute the cache with the data that's not used for a long time. And so there is some time interval before the actual load starts, which will miss in the cache later. And in this interval, we have an opportunity to insert the prefetching hint, which will reduce the penalty of the cache miss, right? Which will later happen. And this time interval is sometimes referred to as prefetching window. Here I show you the Microsoft compiler version of the memory prefetching hint. It is slightly different, but the idea is essentially the same. Now, as usual, there are caveats. And in general, you should be very careful with using explicit memory prefetching, right? Well, first, sometimes it's not even possible, right? Imagine some long dependency chain, which leads to a load that misses in cache. 
And so there is even no prefetching window where you can insert your hints. Second, when used wrong, it may interfere with other data that's already in the cache. You may evict some important data from the cache, right? And then third, prefetching hint is an assembly instruction. And so it slightly increases the code size. And fourth, the benefits of uh, explicit memory prefetching are not portable. What do I mean by that is that if you see performance improvement on your platform, it doesn't mean that you will see the same performance improvement on another platform. So always measure on all the platforms that you care about. And just for the record, based on my personal experience, compilers are quite conservative when it comes to inserting software memory prefetching hints. It's because it may as well hurt performance. So yeah, that's it for this introduction. You can now go and try to improve the code of the benchmark.